Hey, good morning. Um, US dollar index did break down yesterday. Now you can see that we had a really good support level down there uh, around the 102.80.60 uh, area, or um, I think I called it 70.50. Anyway, we broke lower. Very, very significant break. Very clear break is what I really mean to say. And I'm, I'm, I feel quite confident that the dollar index will, will get down to the next Fibonacci level, which is around the 101.30, 101.20 area. Now we wait, may bounce back to the resistance level first, around 102, I'm going to call it 102, uh, 6080. Uh, that would be the big resistance level for the index today if we do bounce. But I think eventually, as I say, we get down to 101.30, 101.20. So with that view, um, gold seems to have broken higher on the weaker dollar, and that could continue to be the case. I think we've got good support now, down now where the, where, where the resistance level was, where it had held previously. I'm going to call it 1845-1840. It's probably a little bit higher than that, but uh, because we've got the uh, 500 and 200 day moving averages down there, I need to incorporate that. But I, um, anyway, yeah, I'd say 1845, 1840 would be the best support level of the day if we get a chance to buy down there. Silver, the resistance level is still holding. Uh, I don't need to show you that. Uh, the Aussie dollar pushing higher against the weaker dollar. I think that trend will continue. If we do get up as far as 71 sort of, uh, what did I have it? 71.35, 71.45, that's probably quite a strong resistance level. It's actually more on the weekly chart than the daily chart, let me show you. I've got that from a trend line uh, going back here, where's that uh, May, May of last year? So it's a year old trend line and the 200 week moving average. So that's all around that seven, sort of 71.35, 71.45 area yesterday. We got really close. Uh, we got to 71.27. So that le level certainly is working. Um, just looking at my cheat sheet. 70.30, 70.20 actually, 70.30, 70.20, 70.30 is, is also um, a support level today, which I've gone and put in the resistance level area. So I need to switch that around. So if, you, if you're looking at the cheat sheet and you can see that I've got 70.30.20 as a sell level, that's actually it's supposed to be a buy level. I'm sure you can figure that out for yourself. Right, New Zealand dollar broke higher on the weaker US dollar. So we now have support at what was the resistance level and it did hold quite well initially. So I think it should hold on the downside. We're dipping back towards 64, 20, 64, and uh, we're bearing in mind we had these previous swing high peaks. That should be a good support level. Um, what else do I need to show you? Japanese yen you know about. <coughs> Sorry, the dollar yen. Still holding that big support level. So if you tried along, not much of a profit, I will admit, but it's certainly holding on to that support level. Now, just bear in mind, uh, if we get further dollar weakness, and we do break below sort of 126.90. That should be a sell signal for the dollar yen. We could tumble. We should certainly tumble to 126.25. I wouldn't rule out 125.00 actually. Uh, what else have I got? Euro. This was nice. I had um, had a support level. I think at around 105.50, 105.40. That held, and of course we rocked it up through 106.00 and hit the. We got very close. We hit my target, didn't we? 106.80 and went on to 106.97. I think that could continue seeing a little bit of weakness today. I would be a buyer on weakness. Haven't, haven't said that about the euro for a while. I would be a buyer if we dip down to 106.20, 106.00. Get it, got a feeling we won't. But we did, we, well, having, having had a look at that dollar index chart, there is a possibility that can, the dollar can jump to the, to what was the support and is now the resistance. You never know. That might work for the euro and you might get a chance to buy it down at 106.20, 106.00. And then eventually we could even get up to 108.00. Um, cable pushing higher. Um, I think we can get up to 126.50 area. I've got, what have I got on my sheet? 126.40, uh, 126.60. Yeah, that's, that's a big fib level, uh, for the whole move down from 2021. And there's also a trend line coming in there, as you can see. So I think, whilst I think we can get there, that should be a strong resistance level. Um, same kind of stuff, uh, on the, S, uh, the US markets that I, I talked about yesterday. Probably going to see a good recovery. Dow Jones led the way yesterday. NASDAQ probably uh, the least strong as far as in recovery terms, but it's been the weakest market for, for, for all of this year, hasn't it? So that's hardly a surprise. So I've got, some res I've got a resistance level in the NASDAQ. I've got resistance levels in the Dow Jones, which really are targets. I think we can get to them because uh, I think we will go higher initially. Uh, S&P, same kind of thing. I'm looking for a recovery up to the 4,000 area. And then we've got strong resistance at 40, 30, 40, 50. Uh, but as I say, I think we can get to those targets because I think we're in for a short-term recovery in the US stock markets. Okay, hope that's helpful. Chat again tomorrow.